Chapter 1. The Time Traveler The man known as the Time Traveler paced back and forth in his laboratory, deep in thought. He had been tasked with a mission that would determine the fate of the entire world. He had the ability to travel back in time and change events, but the consequences of his actions were unknown. The Time Traveler was a brilliant scientist, but he was also haunted by the memory of a catastrophic event that had destroyed his own timeline. He had traveled back in time to try and prevent it, but his actions had inadvertently caused it. Now, he was faced with a similar dilemma. Should he attempt to change the past to prevent the same event from happening again, or should he leave it as it was and hope for the best? He had spent countless hours studying the events that led up to the catastrophe, poring over historical records and analyzing data. He had come to the conclusion that there were certain key moments that had led to the disaster, moments that if he could change, might alter the outcome. But he was hesitant to take action. He knew that altering the past could have unforeseeable consequences, and he didn't want to risk making things worse. He was torn between his desire to prevent the disaster and his fear of causing even more harm. As he paced back and forth in his lab, he thought back to his own timeline, to the moment when he had made the fatal mistake that had led to the catastrophe. He remembered the feeling of helplessness as he watched events unfold, knowing that he had set them in motion. He didn't want to feel that way again. He didn't want to be responsible for another disaster, but he also couldn't bear the thought of sitting idly by, knowing that he had the power to prevent it. He had to make a decision, and he had to make it soon. As he pondered his options, he realized that he needed more information. He needed to know what the consequences of his actions would be if he chose to alter the past. He decided to use his time machine to travel to the future, to see what the world would look like if he did nothing. He entered the coordinates into the control panel of his time machine and activated the engines. The room began to shake as the machine whirred to life, and he felt the familiar sensation of time travel as he was hurled through the time stream. When he arrived, he was shocked by what he saw. The world was a desolate wasteland, filled with ruins and decay. The skies were dark and ominous, and there was a sense of despair and hopelessness in the air. He realized that he had traveled far into the future, long after the catastrophic event had occurred. He knew then that he had no choice but to act. He couldn't allow this future to come to pass. He returned to his laboratory, determined to alter the past and prevent the disaster from ever happening. He knew that there were risks involved, but he also knew that he couldn't sit back and do nothing. He entered the new coordinates into the time machine and activated the engines once again. This time, he was headed for the past, to the moment when everything had gone wrong. As he hurtled through time, he felt a sense of trepidation. He knew that he was about to embark on a dangerous journey, one that would determine the fate of the world. But he also knew that he was the only one who could do it. He was the time traveler, and he had a mission to accomplish. Chapter 2. The Catalyst The time traveler materialized in a bustling city square, surrounded by a sea of people going about their daily lives. He checked the date on his device and confirmed that he had arrived at the right time. He blended in with the crowd, observing the people and the surroundings. He was searching for the catalyst, the event that would set off a chain reaction leading to the catastrophic event he had witnessed in the future. He had a general idea of what to look for, but he needed more specifics. He spent the next few days combing through historical records and conducting interviews with locals, trying to piece together the events leading up to the disaster. Finally, he found what he was looking for. The Catalyst was a small group of individuals, a secret society that had been operating in the shadows for years. They had a twisted ideology, believing that the only way to save the world was to wipe out a large portion of its population. The Time Traveler was horrified by what he had uncovered. He knew that he had to stop this group before they could put their plan into action. But he also knew that their influence extended far beyond this one moment in time. He would have to go back even further to the very beginning of the society, in order to stop them for good. He traveled back several decades, to a time when the society was just beginning to take shape. He infiltrated their ranks, posing as a sympathizer, and began to gather information. As he delved deeper, he realized that this group had been manipulating events for decades, slowly gaining power and influence. They had infiltrated governments, businesses, and even religious organizations, all in the name of their twisted ideology. The Time Traveler knew that he had to act fast. 
He couldn't allow this group to continue their plans, no matter the cost. He began to plant seeds of doubt within the society, sowing discord and confusion among its members. At first, his efforts were met with resistance, but over time he began to gain the trust of some of the more skeptical members. He convinced them that the society's goals were flawed, that there was a better way to save the world. Slowly but surely, he began to dismantle the society from the inside out. He exposed their secrets, turning members against each other, and causing the society to crumble. It wasn't an easy task. There were times when he feared that he would be discovered, when he thought that his cover had been blown. But he persevered, driven by the knowledge of what was at stake. Finally, the day came when the society was no more. Its members had scattered, and its influence had been eradicated. The time traveler breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that he had accomplished his mission. But he also knew that there would be consequences. By altering the past, he had undoubtedly changed the course of history. He couldn't predict what those changes would be, but he hoped that they would be for the better. He returned to his own time, anxious to see what the future held. Would his actions have prevented the catastrophic event he had witnessed before? Only time would tell. Chapter 3 The Butterfly Effect The time traveler arrived back in his own time, eager to see the effects of his actions. He knew that by altering the past, he had set in motion a chain of events that would ripple through time. He walked through the streets of his city, taking in the sights and sounds. Everything looked the same, but he knew that things might be different in subtle ways. He was eager to see what changes had occurred. As he walked, he noticed a newspaper stand. He approached it and saw that the date on the newspaper was different from what he expected. He quickly realized that the changes he had made in the past had affected the present in ways he could not have predicted. He picked up the newspaper and scanned the headlines. The news was different from what he remembered. There were no reports of the catastrophic event he had witnessed in the future. But as he read further, he began to notice other differences. There were new technologies, new political movements, and new social norms that he didn't recognize. He realized that the changes he had made had affected the world in countless ways, both big and small. He felt a sense of unease. He had known that altering the past would have consequences but he had not anticipated the scope of those consequences. He wondered if he had made the right decision in stopping the secret society. As he walked, he noticed a man who seemed to be following him. He was tall and wiry, with sharp features and a serious expression. The time traveler's instincts told him that this man was dangerous. He tried to lose the man in the crowd, but the man was persistent. He followed the time traveler through the streets, always keeping a safe distance. Finally. The time traveler decided to confront him. He turned to the man and asked him why he was following him. The man responded with a smirk. I'm not following you, he said. I'm just out for a walk. The time traveler didn't believe him. He knew that this man was up to something, and he wasn't going to let him get away with it. He decided to take action. He grabbed the man by the collar and pulled him close. Who are you? he demanded. The man's expression turned serious. I'm from the future, he said and I'm here to stop you. The time traveler was taken aback. He had never encountered another time traveler before. Why are you here to stop me? He asked. The man leaned in close. Because your actions have caused a butterfly effect, he said. You've changed the course of history, and you don't even know what you've done. You could have made things worse. The time traveler felt a chill run down his spine. He realized that he had been so focused on stopping the secret society that he had not considered the broader implications of his actions. He let go of the man's collar and stepped back. What do you suggest I do? He asked. The man's expression softened. I suggest you go back and fix what you've done, he said. Undo the changes you've made and let history play out as it was supposed to. The time traveler considered the man's words. He knew that he had to act fast. He couldn't allow his actions to have unintended consequences. He thanked the man and disappeared into the time stream, determined to make things right. Chapter 4 The Ripple Effect The time traveler emerged from the time stream, back in the year he had originally traveled to. He looked around and saw that everything was as he remembered it. The streets were the same, the people were the same, and the world was still on the brink of disaster. He knew that he had to act quickly if he wanted to undo the changes he had made. 
he retraced his steps to the location where he had stopped the secret society from carrying out their plan. As he approached the building, he noticed that it looked different. The graffiti that had covered its walls was gone, and the windows were intact. He pushed open the door and stepped inside. The interior was unrecognizable. The walls were covered in sleek, modern designs, and there were no signs of the secret society's presence. He realized that by stopping the secret society, he had inadvertently altered the course of history in ways he couldn't have predicted. The society's actions had led to a string of events that had shaped the world in countless ways. He knew that he couldn't simply undo his actions and expect everything to return to normal. He had to carefully consider each step he took to avoid causing unintended consequences. He spent the next few days observing the world and gathering information. He saw that there were new technologies, new political movements, and new social norms that had emerged as a result of his actions. He realized that he had to take a more nuanced approach to fixing the timeline. He couldn't simply undo everything he had done. He had to carefully consider each action he took and its potential consequences. He began to make small changes tweaking the timeline in subtle ways. He prevented certain events from occurring, while allowing others to play out as they had before. He knew that each change he made had a ripple effect, altering the course of history in ways he couldn't fully anticipate. But he had to take action. He couldn't let the world remain on the brink of disaster. As he worked, he encountered other time travelers who were monitoring his actions. They warned him of the potential consequences of his actions and urged him to tread carefully. He appreciated their concern, but knew that he had to make his own decisions. He had to balance the risk of unintended consequences with the need to prevent catastrophe. Days turned into weeks, and the time traveler continued to work, carefully tweaking the timeline to create a better future. He saw the effects of his actions in small ways, from the outcome of political elections to the development of new technologies. But he also saw the unintended consequences of his actions. He encountered people who had never existed before, and saw places that had never been built. He knew that he had to make a final decision soon. He couldn't continue to make changes indefinitely. He had to decide whether to leave the timeline as it was, or to undo all the changes he had made. As he considered his options, he realized that he had developed a deeper understanding of the complexity of time travel. He had learned that each action had a ripple effect, and that the consequences of his actions were not always predictable. He knew that he couldn't simply leave the timeline as it was. The world was still on the brink of disaster, and he had a duty to prevent it. But he also knew that he couldn't continue to make changes indefinitely. He had to find a balance between preventing disaster and minimizing unintended consequences. He made his decision and prepared to take action. He stepped back into the time stream, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 5 the final decision. The time traveler emerged from the time stream, back in the present day. He looked around and saw that everything was as he remembered it. The world was still on the brink of disaster, but he knew that he had the power to change that. He took a deep breath and began to make his final decision. He knew that he couldn't continue to make changes indefinitely. He had to find a balance between preventing disaster and minimizing unintended consequences. He began to weigh the options in his mind considering the potential outcomes of each action he could take. He knew that whatever he decided, there would be consequences. He could leave the timeline as it was, allowing the catastrophic event to occur and the world to suffer the consequences. Or, he could go back in time and undo all the changes he had made, restoring the timeline to its original state. But he also knew that there was a third option. He could go back in time and make a few strategic changes that would prevent the catastrophic event from occurring without causing too many unintended consequences. He spent several hours considering each option, weighing the risks and benefits of each. He knew that the fate of the world rested on his decision. Finally, he made his choice. He would go back in time and make a few strategic changes to prevent the catastrophic event from occurring. He stepped back into the time stream, feeling a sense of weightlessness as he traveled through time. He emerged in the year of the catastrophic event, ready to make his changes. He carefully made his way to the location where the catastrophic event would occur. He knew that he had to be careful not to make any drastic changes that could alter the course of history. He observed the events as they unfolded, taking note of the key players and the decisions they made. He began to make subtle changes, 
altering the decisions of the key players in a way that would prevent the catastrophic event from occurring. As he worked, he felt the weight of the responsibility on his shoulders. He knew that the fate of the world rested on his actions. Finally, he had made all the necessary changes. He stepped back into the time stream, feeling a sense of relief that he had succeeded in preventing the catastrophic event. As he emerged back in the present day, he saw that the world had changed. The catastrophic event had been prevented, and the world was a much better place. He felt a sense of pride in his actions, knowing that he had made a difference. But he also felt a sense of sadness, knowing that he had caused unintended consequences that would never be fully understood. He knew that time travel was a powerful tool, but it was not without its risks. He had learned that every action had a ripple effect, and that the consequences of his actions were not always predictable. He had made his final decision, and he knew that it was the right one. He had prevented the catastrophic event, and the world was a better place because of it. But he also knew that he could never forget the lessons he had learned. Time travel was a powerful tool, but it came with a great responsibility. He had to be careful in his actions, and always consider the potential consequences. Chapter 6 Moving Forward The time traveler took a deep breath and looked around at the world that he had helped to save. The skies were bluer, the air was cleaner, and people were going about their lives with a sense of hope and optimism that he had not seen before. He knew that there were still challenges ahead, but he also knew that the world was in a better place because of his actions. He had learned a great deal about the power of time travel and the importance of responsibility and accountability when wielding that power. As he thought about the future, he knew that there would be others who would come after him, seeking to use time travel for their own purposes. He knew that he could not control their actions, but he could use his knowledge and experience to help guide them. He decided to create a network of time travelers, a group of people who shared his sense of responsibility and commitment to making the world a better place. They would work together, using their knowledge and experience to prevent disasters and promote positive change. The time traveler knew that it would not be an easy task. Time travel was still a relatively unknown and unpredictable science, and there were many risks and challenges involved. But he also knew that the rewards were great, and that the potential for making a positive impact on the world was enormous. He began to reach out to other time travelers, seeking to build a network of like-minded individuals who shared his vision for the future. Together, they would explore the mysteries of time travel learn from one another, and work to make the world a better place. As he looked towards the future, the time traveler knew that there would be many challenges ahead, but he also knew that he was not alone, and that he had a community of fellow time travelers who were committed to making a positive impact on the world. He smiled as he thought about all the possibilities that lay ahead, and the many adventures and challenges that awaited him in the world of time travel. He knew that the future was uncertain, but he also knew that he had the power to shape it. As he stepped back into the time stream, he felt a sense of excitement and anticipation. The future was waiting, and he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The end.